metal working fluid in your machine is made from a concentrated solution that needs to be diluted before use. It's important to maintain the concentration of your metal working fluid at the optimum level recommended by your fluid supplier. Over time, the concentration of metal working fluid can change due to the evaporation of water. This affects the quality of the lubrication and could cause some metal parts to corrode. This also may promote the growth of bacteria, presenting risks to health. So where do we start? You don't put dirty water in your cup of tea, so why would you use poor quality water when preparing your fluid emulsion? It's important to use clean, good quality water to minimise the risk of contaminating the metal working fluid. Check your input water quality for hardness, pH and bacteria. Consult your metal working fluid supplier about suitable water quality requirements. If using stored water rather than direct mains, carry out weekly inspections of water storage tanks and water filtration equipment to ensure they're kept clean. If you think about it, water's the, the main thing that's going in your machine. It could be 90-95% of what you're machining with, so it needs to be good quality to start off with. Whether it's mains water or whether it's treated water, it's also important to check the quality on a regular basis, and that could be dissolved salt levels, microbial condition. So if you were using mains water, then I would test it every now and again just to check the quality of the incoming water you've got. If you're using stored water, you should check it a bit more frequently and you need to check things like the filtration system's working. Mixing is the most critical step. Make sure you mix to get the correct concentration following the manufacturer's instructions. It's important to keep the right concentration level because if the levels go high or low, it affects the way the machine runs and it's also beneficial to us to have it at the right consistency. If you're unsure about any aspect of fluid condition, ask your fluid supplier every time. Now you've got your metal working fluid mixed and in the machine, you'll need to check the concentration at least weekly using one of these, a refractometer. A refractometer is a handheld optical instrument used to estimate the mixed concentration of soluble metal working fluids. It measures the change in light passing through a metal working fluid at different concentrations. The accuracy of this concentration measurement can be affected by the temperature of the instrument, so it should always be kept in the case and allowed to come to room temperature. It should never be placed in direct sunlight or used straight out of your pocket. Always clean the refractometer before use with clean cold water and a soft tissue or cloth. Using hot water can affect the effectiveness of the refractometer. The refractometer must be calibrated before use. Place several drops of clean water between the plastic cover and the prism. Hold the refractometer horizontally to your eye and point it at a source of light, e.g. a window or strong artificial light source. Look into the eyepiece and using the calibrating knob, ensure that the boundary line is at zero in the viewer. Lift the plastic cover and dry the prism with a clean cloth. Place one or two drops of metal working fluid on the prism and close the plastic cover. Note the refractometer scale reading at the point where the boundary line separates the light and the dark areas on the scale. A refractometer reading is not a direct measure of concentration. Each metal working fluid has its own refractometer correction factor which will be provided on the product information sheet or by contacting the supplier. Calculate the concentration by multiplying the scale reading by the adjustment factor relevant to the water mix metal working fluid you are using. Clean the refractometer prism and plastic cover with a clean cloth and store them in the carrying case. Record the results on the fluid maintenance record chart. Act promptly when these tests show the metalworking fluid concentration is no longer optimal 
Adjust metalworking fluid concentration using a higher or weaker strength pre-mixed metalworking fluid. In most circumstances, it's advisable not to use water or the concentrate stock directly. Looking after the concentration is one of the most important factors because you're using the ingredients of that product at its optimum level. If the product concentration is too low, the additives are too dilute to be effective. If they're over concentration, you don't really get any extra benefit, it's just extra cost. So using them between the manufacturer's recommended limits gives you optimum product performance. Well, that's checking the concentration of metal working fluid covered. I think the milk's off.